All right, so in this video, we'll be discussing an important topic. Why artists struggle so much with depression? So over the years, it's become a bit cliche even to say that artists are depressed people. If you are interested a bit in art history, you might have heard many times artists that are prone to using drugs or being depressed or being very unstable. So while being an artist can be a rewarding and fulfilling career, it can also be a challenging and isolating one. Even now, there are a ton of artists that are struggling with mental issues and depression can be a big concern for them. So I want to help you out because I know that a few small changes in your life can make a huge difference in mental health. I've been struggling with a bit of, not depression, that's too big of a word, but feeling down a lot and feeling isolated and I found solutions for myself to get out of this rut and uh, get out of this bad mood and I just want to help you out. So first let's understand why artists are so prone to depression. The nature of the work itself can be isolating. Oftentimes we need to be alone to work. We work from our homes or in very small studios where we don't have a lot of community. It's a very solitary work where we have to be in our own bubble to be creative. Especially now we found ourselves in front of our computers every day, all day long. The isolation can be compounded by the fact that many artists that are freelance artists can work very unstable hours. We can work all through the night. We need to pull off some all-nighters. The fact that clients can be irregular as well. Sometimes we might might have a lot of work and sometimes we might struggle a lot to just find one client. It's the instability of this life that can create instability in our mental health. And so these are the big problems. It's the isolation, the fact that we don't have a routine, that we are in front of our computers and we don't move a lot, and the fact that we don't go out a lot. And so for each of these problems, there's a solution, of course. It's very simple solutions. So for isolation, for example, I know a lot of artists that claim to be introverted. We are human beings and we are social creatures. I see a lot of people that think that they are being social by being on video games and playing with their friends at distance. And that's not being social at all, guys. Being social is talking to other people and looking at them in the eyes, having deep conversations with them, going to do an activity with them in real life. So I truly think that we need to stop labeling ourselves and saying that we are introverted or extroverted. That oftentimes is just an excuse to, if you are introverted, stay inside all day long and not talk to any people and extroverted to stay out all day long and to not work. This is truly a, a subject that's close to my heart because I think that's something that slows us all down and if we took the time and the courage because it's hard to work on our social skills we would be all better human beings and we would feel more happy because i never feel as happy as when i'm with my friends after a long day of work and we can talk and we can do some activities together i love talking to new people and discovering who they are what their personality is and be interested in them it's not about being shy or introverted you have to have the courage to go and talk to other people most people are kind and loving human beings that will be more than happy to strike a conversation with you if you are not super awkward and difficult to talk to. Make an effort guys because I'm tired of hearing excuses that don't make sense and hearing people complaining about stuff that you could just resolve in, in a few simple steps. I know those steps are simple but not easy because I struggled myself when I was younger to talk to other people. I was shy but you have to take just a few steps. Just When you see someone in the street say hello. That's it. Start with a simple step. First of all, keep an eye contact with someone else that you don't know. Then say hello to a stranger. Then ask for the, the direction. Don't, don't try to have a conversation. And then slowly you will have conversations with strangers and you will see that you will be much more fulfilled and much more happy in your own skin because you are doing something hard. That's the way you get happy. The second biggest problem that I think artists have is that they don't work out. This is another subject that's so close to my heart because I think that everyone in the world would be more happy if they were working out for just 30 minutes a day. 
maybe even just doing on a walk or just doing 100 push-ups. Most people nowadays cannot do 20 push-ups or one pull-up. I'm sorry guys, but to me, personally, the way I see it is that our bodies took billions of years to evolve. It's disrespectful to nature to not take care of our own bodies. It took so much time to evolve to get to the point we are now, and it's disgraceful to nature to let our body rot like this. So we need to take care of our bodies, and when you start working out, you are doing something hard as well, because most of the time you don't want to do that. And the key of happiness is doing something that you don't want to do. And you will see progress because you are going to get fitter, and you are going to be happy because you see progress. The third key that I think would clear depression from people is to just get some sunlight. Go out and put your skin in the sun. Get some vitamin D and you will feel much better instantly. Because when we stay inside all day long and we are lit by those artificial lights, our bodies do not produce any vitamin D and it's very bad for us. So I uh, understand that if you live in a country where there's not a lot of sunlight at certain parts of the year, like for me I live in Belgium, it's always really cloudy, really rainy, at this point of the year at least and it's too cold outside to go out with a t-shirt and get the sunlight at least supplement yourself with vitamin d because it's incredibly important for your immune system and so that's it i think those three good habits that you can implement in your lives will change yourself like if you start doing those things today in three months you will not recognize yourself you will be just a different person and you will be much much more happy and i challenge you to do that because i know it's hard but it's when you do hard things that you don't want to do that you get the most fulfillment. So I hope this video is motivating you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.